Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft. This episode I'm going to show you how to build a village. Now I built mine in a forest but you can build yours in a desert, snow biome, jungle, flat grass, anywhere you decide. Now I decided to build it in a forest because it will look the best when it's finished because it will have more texture and that's one of the main things when building and also make things look realistic, have supports like if you had a bridge you can have it going with no pillars or with pillars. Now if you have pillars it will make it look more realistic and nicer because it will look like it's supporting itself. Another thing when you're building in Minecraft you have to make sure things have depth otherwise it just looks flat and plain. Now you can see me starting to plan where the walls are going to go, but you do not have to plan. If you want to, you can just go ahead and build the walls, but usually it's a lot easier to plan because you won't run out of room, and think of the plans more like guidelines where you want to go, because you don't have to follow them. If you want to, you can go miles out if you want to, like I did, as you'll see later on. Now what you want to do is come to one point of the wall and just design a wall. Search walls on Google. Just search designs and when just remember when you're building these walls make sure you separate the colours and have depth. So if you have depth it will look nice. If you have it all one colour it's not going to look as nice. So if you kind of separate all the colours from one you'll be able to see the wall a lot nicer. It will just give that wall the wall that finished touch. Now as you can see here I came to a corner. Now corners in Minecraft are very very hard to do but once you've got it you've got it. Now this one it's didn't turn out right, I didn't like the way it looked so I came back off camera and just changed it slightly until it looked right and I do know that I haven't done the other side of the wall yet but I do promise I do come back around and do the other side later on now instead of carrying that corner as originally planned I kind of do a bit of the corner and then just go straight into like a sharp corner instead of the angle corner because the angles are too hard to do and remember plans are plans you do not have to follow them they're just basically guidelines as I said before Now I did the same thing with this angle, came back off camera just to make it look a lot nicer.
Now, as you can see here, I start to do the other side of the wall, and I leave a one gap all the way around, so people will be able to run around and defend it, but just because I may turn this into a PvP map when it's finished. Not too sure, I may. So as you can see I was struggling with that corner so what I did is I just deleted that bit of the corner, did the other bit and then finished it off camera and then made it just look like a ghost or a alien was zapping that be piece of wall back to how it should be. So as I was building this wall I was thinking to myself, thinking, well this is going to take ages to build, maybe another day or two just to get this wall finished, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to finish this one bit of stretch and I'm going to get out building it and just copy and paste the rest of the wall all the way around, because you know how it's built now, it's just the same thing over and over again, all the way around. Now, this is the part of the video where I just get out the world edit wand and just select one bit of the wall and then just copy and paste it all the way around just to speed up time and not to waste much of my time and your time. And also, a bit of the footage went disappearing. I don't know where it went, it just that bit right there. It was only that corner bit, so it didn't really matter. Now as you can see here, I just miss a bit of the wall when I was copying and pasting it, so I just simply rebuild it. It was probably faster to b rebuild that top of the wall than delete it all and then just paste it back in. So as you can see here I start to burn the trees just because it's a lot faster processor than destroying them by hand and plus I'm going to build the wall all the way up there just because the place looked too small to fit a village in.
So, at the very end, I'm coming to finish the wall up, and I realise that they're slightly out, so I just have to add like a little curve, so the walls will meet up. And there we have it, the almost finished wall. There's just the towers to add, and that's what we're going to be doing next episode. Adding the towers and just maybe, just maybe get the planning of the town in. So, thank you for watching everyone, and bye bye.